Hi, this is Heather reporting for Kids First. I'm absolutely honored to be in attendance at the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media's 2019 See Jane Salon event held at the St. Jane Hotel in Chicago. The Gina Davis Institute, founded by the Academy Award winning actor Gina Davis, works collaboratively within the entertainment industry to engage, educate, and influence the creation of gender balanced on-screen portrayals, reducing harmful stereotypes, and creating an abundance of unique and intersectional female characters in entertainment, targeting children 11 and under. It is made up of brilliant people from across the country championing gender parity in children's TV and film. This event hosts a panel of thought leaders working to improve the media landscape for women and girls. The panelists include Madeline Denono, the CEO of Regina Davis Institute, Tegan Early, actor, producer, and co-founder of Sisters First, Quadri Holmes, founder and executive producer of Curiosity Productions, D'Angela Proctor, the chief elevation officer at Wayfarer Entertainment, and Chris Ray, writer, director, and filmmaker. I hope you enjoy the post-event interviews. I'm Catherine, but you know that already, so what's your name? My name is Jasmine Borad. I am the Director of Special Events here with the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. Oh, that's awesome. So what do you do for your job? I have the privilege and honor of organizing all of the events that the Institute hosts. So I got to put this event together. I do this in LA, New York, and now Chicago, and we're looking to expand to other cities soon. That's awesome. So where are you from? Born and raised in Orange County, California. Awesome. I love there. <laughs> and what are you inspired about tonight? Um, well, I was actually inspired by all these panelists. Um, it's my job to go out and find these people and to put these together. So getting to hear them talk about the work they're doing in the industry, the change they're making for what we're seeing on camera as well as behind the camera is, is what's inspiring to me. That is awesome, and thank you so much for your time, and have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hi, so my name is Catherine. What's your name? Danita Patterson. Very nice to meet you. Why are you here tonight? So I'm here tonight. I'm a filmmaker and a producer as well, and I'm extremely passionate about the gender parity that we are foraging in this time in the season. I work both in Hollywood as well as I'm here in Chicago, my hometown, doing a film. And I think the work that, that this organization is doing is incredible, the Institute. But also the panel was really moving because you really get a chance to hear filmmakers, producers, actors, as well as um, advocates. I, I thought one of the most important parts for me that impacted me was some of the research. Uh, seeing the research, seeing the numbers, and hearing about this new software really impacted me tremendously. And where are you from? I'm originally from Chicago. This is my hometown. But I've lived in Los Angeles for almost 27 years. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and what's your favorite part about tonight? My favorite part about tonight is the research, but also being able to listen to the heartfelt stories of those who are living the research, um, actualizing projects that are um, representing women and representing the, the gender parity that we need to have, that we've come a long way, but we've got a further way to go. So it was just really good being in a room with people who are like-minded, like-hearted. And I think, you know what, it's interesting, it's a great question. I love that Madeline uh, was really championing that whatever you need is in the room. And what was in the room were financiers, were filmmakers, were nonprofit organizations that support the entertainment industry. And I thought it was wonderful that she was evoking community and for us to be connected and to know that our answers are in the room. So I thought that was amazing too. That's and I think you're amazing. I love Oh, that thank you. you. That the next generation is being impacted as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you, sweetheart, and continue to shine. Oh, thank you. Good thank luck. You. Good luck. Thank you so much. Okay, so my name is Catherine. What's your name? My name is Sophia Valella. Um, I'm communication and events manager with Full Spectrum Features. Oh, that's awesome. So what exactly do you do for in that job? 
Um, so I work a lot with social media. Um, I manage our newsletter and I also manage any exhibition events. So we produce and distribute our own films. Um, so I host a lot of screenings and figure out ways to get people in the door and to get them engaged with our content. That's awesome. Where are you from? I'm actually originally from Albany, New York, so not from Chicago. I'm actually fairly new to Chicago, but I've had an amazing um, experience adapting to this third coast over here. It's very cold here. What do you think about the weather? Um, I agree it's very cold, but I'm pretty used to the cold because Albany is also, we have our fair share of winter, so I don't know if a uh, I don't know if a November winter is usually is commonplace, but it's definitely, yeah, I, I'm pretty used to it. And what was the most inspiring thing you heard tonight? The most inspiring thing I heard tonight? Um, well, it was really interesting to hear from Madeline Denono, the CEO of the Gina Davis Institute, um, and hear a little bit about the research studies that they're putting out and some of the encouraging statistics that came out of their recent studies on children's media and the fact that uh, young girls um, and their portrayal on screen, they've actually reached um, parity in terms of their speaking time on, on screen. Um, and so that's been a very encouraging thing to hear because um, at least within our organization, we're always thinking about representation and as far as I can go, it's not, it's not just casting people and putting people on screen, but actually like allowing their time on screen to be valuable and to reflect um, the way that our world actually works. So, yeah. yeah that's very, very inspiring. Uh, Thank you so much for talking with me. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me. All right. Have a great rest of your night. You too. Take care. Thank you. So my name is Catherine. What's your name? My name is Christine Dudley. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So why are you here tonight? Well, I am the former director of the Illinois Film Office, so I used to work in government and I continue to work in the film community and one of my passions has always been about women in film and women in general in leadership roles. Yes, they deserve to be in a lot more than that, but it's getting better, so that's good. And where are you from? I'm originally from Indiana, but now I live here in Chicago and I've lived here for almost 30 years. It's a great place. And what is the most inspiring thing you heard tonight? Well, I don't know that there was one takeaway in terms of, um, I think the panel itself was incredibly inspirational and the data that was presented uh, regarding uh, the change in the evolution of the role of women and the role of diversity. Um, it was good to see that it's moving forward for most part, but that, uh, that people are willing to come together to continue to find that parity um, across the board and just everybody's story um, on the panel it was very inspiring and my favorite question and I'm gonna ask you who's your famous favorite female fictional character oh, yes okay I have a lot I'll say one from a while ago when I was younger Rapunzel was always one of my favorite I, I, I wanted to be her I wanted her beautiful long hair, <laughs> and she was, you know, a very good character. She was persistent, you know, all that good stuff. And everybody on the panel was taught, that was a very good question that was asked, and I just think it's a good question for an interview. It's a very good question for an interview. Thank you so much for talking with me. Well, thank you, and good luck, and I hope you have a good set of interviews tonight. And what are you going to do? What are you, you are aspiring to carry the microphone around? When you grow up? Yeah. Not that you're not grown up. Well, you do a very nice job, so good luck. Thank you. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks so much. Stay warm. Thank you. Hi, I'm Catherine. What's your name? My name is Chris. All right, you did an amazing job tonight. And so where are you from? Um, good question. I live here in Chicago, but I'm from kind of all over because uh, when I was a kid, my dad was in the Navy, and we moved around a lot. And what was your favorite question that you got asked tonight? Um, good question again. My favorite question that I got asked tonight was maybe um, she uh, asking about Sesame Street. She, the, um, the moderator, um, knew that one of my inspirations uh, for being a filmmaker was my love of Sesame Street. So... I got to talk about that a little bit. 
Sesame Street is wonderful. It is. And what do you hope for in the future? Uh, like in general? Just like in the film business? Um, you know, for, for myself, I would just want to, I'm a, I'm a director and I just want to keep, um, being able to write and direct movies. Yeah. And why are you here tonight? Um, I was invited to speak on um, a panel about their, their findings in gender parity and, um, and like sort of a study talking about how, what percentages um, there are ratios to female to male characters in media. And what motivates you to do what you do? Um, usually I'm, I'm writing and directing films um, that, are, that have sort of an autobiographical element. Um, so I often take inspiration from things that happen to me in real life. Thank you so much for talking yeah. with me tonight. Thank you. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks, you too. <laughs> this is Catherine reporting for Kids First. Thank you so much for watching. I had an amazing time listening to so many inspirational people. Please don't forget to subscribe to Kids First and be sure to check out more of our entertainment events coverage and film reviews at kidsfirst.org. Also, check out the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media's website. And remember, if she can see it, she can be it. See you later. Bye!